Hi, it's Katrina. From roaming mutant wolves to visits from unidentified flying objects, here are 10 of the craziest things scientists have discovered in the Chernobyl forest. Number 10. The Mothman One of the most horrifying things ever discovered near Chernobyl had nothing to do with the actual meltdown of the nuclear reactor. Instead, what Chernobyl staff saw just before the deadly explosion that became one of the worst nuclear disasters in the history of humanity was a monster. Not just any monster, either. Before the explosion rocked Ukraine, witnesses saw a creature flying through the sky described as being some kind of freak of nature. The beast had glowing red eyes, it seemed to be completely black, and it had wings so large there is no way it could have been an eagle or a giant bat. It's become known as the Black Bird of Chernobyl, though many people claim it was really the infamous Mothman from West Virginia legend. You're probably wondering how on earth the legendary Mothman could have showed up to a small Ukrainian village hosting a nuclear reactor all the way from Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Well, if you know anything about the Mothman legends, you'll know that the Mothman is always a warning of impending doom. Whenever the Mothman is seen, a catastrophic event almost always comes immediately after, just like the collapse of the Silver Bridge in December of 1967 that killed 46 people, shortly after the Mothman was seen flying around. Unfortunately, the only proof that what workers saw was real is a blurry photograph of what appears to be a black creature with spindly legs and long, almost angel-like wings flying overhead in the dark. Since the Chernobyl incident, the Mothman has yet to be seen again. Number 9. Mutant Wolves In a shocking new study of wolves around Chernobyl, specifically in the radiated exclusion zone, researchers have discovered that the animals could be spreading mutations caused by radiation to other populations of European wolves. According to the report from National Geographic, researchers tracked and studied 13 wolves using specialized collars for measuring radiation. They found a few expected results. First, the wolves experienced a burst of radiation when traveling through contaminated areas. However, they found that one of the young male wolves trekked for 250 miles through Belarus and into Russia, likely in search of a mate after being contaminated. Here's where the danger comes in. Michael Byrne from the University of Missouri, who studies animal movements, says that because the wolf population in the exclusion zone is so high, it makes sense that young animals will disperse. But if the wolves mutate and they breed with wolves from outside of the exclusion zone, they could transfer unhealthy mutations to the next generation of wolves. Not only that, but they also have the ability to contaminate uncontaminated areas with their radiation. It's hard to really understand what all of this means. Nobody knows exactly to what extent these radioactive mutations will reach. We know that radiation in wolves can cause tumors, extra small brains, and developmental abnormalities. If gone unchecked, some are wondering if the mutations could spread and ultimately wipe out all the European wolves, or maybe even turn them into eerie mutants running through the forest. Number 8. The Radioactive Elephant Deep in the heart of Chernobyl is a radioactive elephant. More specifically, it's a radioactive elephant's foot. Elephant's foot is the nickname given to a huge chunk of radioactive material beneath the nuclear power plant at Chernobyl. It was discovered in December of 1986 in the remains of reactor number 4 after it exploded. Out of everything in the plant and the surrounding area, the elephant's foot is to this day still the most radioactive thing around. The elephant's foot is also special because its radioactivity has not decreased that much since the original disaster. But what is this thing made out of? It's comprised primarily of silicon dioxide, though the clump is also packed with traces of uranium, magnesium, and graphite. All of these things combined create some serious radioactivity. The mass was solid after the explosion and couldn't even be damaged by a remotely operated drill. It didn't start to crack until 1998, and in 2021, the mass had melted to become almost like sand. Now here's how lethal the elephant's foot is. Eight months after it was formed, the radioactivity while standing close to the mass was 8,000 röntgens. What this means is that you were given a fatal dose of radiation in just five minutes. And even though it's gotten less dangerous over the years, 
it is still able to kill a person if they linger too close for too long. Number 7. Giant Catfish Besides wolves, there are giant catfish prowling the cooling pond near the Chernobyl power plant. The cooling pond was used to keep the reactors from overheating. Today, there isn't much use for the cooling pool since the power plant's not really functioning anymore. However, the cooling plant is filled with fish of enormous proportions. Some of these fish are monsters, much larger than average. But what you might not believe is that radiation has nothing to do with the preposterous size of these huge catfish. What a lot of people don't realize is that radiation doesn't usually mutate things to become giant versions of themselves. At least, that's what University of South Carolina radiation specialist Timothy Moso says. He says that instead of growing to be gigantic, animals that are mutated instead become less efficient. This means they have a harder time catching food, getting from place to place, and breeding. This lack of efficiency almost always leads to the animal dying because it can no longer compete in a world of predators and prey. Mutations aren't nearly as glamorous as you see in video games and movies, and animals don't really get any cool superpowers. The truth is significantly more disturbing and uglier. The catfish living in the Chernobyl cooling pond are natural giants. These are Wells catfish and can already grow to giant proportions, with some of the biggest Wells catfish growing to be over 350 pounds. There isn't anything radioactive about them. The question is, how did they get there in the first place? And how did they survive? Number 6. A Hovering UFO After the Chernobyl disaster on April 26, 1986, tons of radioactive byproduct went flying into the atmosphere. It was a calamity, but apparently some in the area witnessed what they described as an unidentified flying object, perhaps an alien ship, flying over the plant shortly after the explosion. Some believe that the UFO may have caused the nuclear reactor to explode on purpose as part of some kind of cosmic experiment being performed on humans. There is no way to possibly verify this. However, there have been unsubstantiated claims that people who were radiated at Chernobyl are giving birth to children who have a strange yellow fluid inside of their body instead of blood. They say that within just a handful of generations, the offspring of these yellow-blooded mutants will be smarter than Einstein. This, of course, is an urban legend. Unfortunately, seeing as Chernobyl exploded in 1986, nobody really had a smartphone handy to snap pictures of the alleged UFO in the sky. Since then, all talk of aliens being involved with the worst nuclear disaster in history have all but been wiped under the rug. Anyone who believes that people really did see UFOs outside Chernobyl has been deemed a crackpot and a conspiracy theorist. But the truth is that there have been enough witnesses to grant at least the possibility of something strange being in the sky that day, whether alien, government, or maybe something else. Number 5. Radioactive Hotspots the Red Forest of Chernobyl is one of the most radioactive places on the planet. Recently, researchers from the United Kingdom working with the University of Bristol traveled to the exclusion zone and then used special drones to go deep into the most radiated parts of the forest to measure gamma radiation and neutrons. These drones are known as Unmanned Aerial Vehicles, or UAV for short. It was an attempt to map the Red Forest and see just how truly radiated it still is all these years later. What they found were additional radioactive hotspots previously unknown to Ukrainian authorities, according to the University of Bristol. The Red Forest covers an area of about four square miles. The forest originally earned its name when the radiation turned the trees a terrifying reddish-brown color. Instead of being green and vivid, the vegetation here is red and not thriving very well. The drone began eight miles from the epicenter of the explosion in a small village located at the edge of the exclusion zone. They then moved the drone inward, searching through the forest during a 10-day survey with a total of 24 hours in the air. The deeper into the forest, the more radiation they detected. The university will now share the information about the hot zones they discovered with local authorities to help keep people out of the woods and from turning into mutants. Number 4. Mysterious Otter one of the strangest things recently spotted in the forest of Chernobyl was an unlikely animal. This was not a monster or a mutant freak. Instead, it was a regular otter. The otter was discovered wandering through the radiated exclusion zone. Researchers trying to track wildlife through the area around Chernobyl to see how it's been recovering used hidden cameras. 
They used fish carcasses to bait the animals close to the shore where they had the cameras positioned and managed to capture on video 15 species of bird and mammals in the quarantine region. Everyone was shocked when an otter came out of nowhere and gobbled up one of the dead fish. This was the first time that researchers spotted such an animal inside the exclusion zone since humans left in 1986. Even more shocking is that the cameras also captured images of white-tailed eagles and American mink. It's unclear whether any of these animals are highly mutated or dangerous. It's not clear if there's a family of otters living nearby. But as far as anyone can tell, the animals seem perfectly healthy and not in the least bit affected. 98% of the fish the researchers put out was eaten, which is a high rate of scavenging. The researchers were very excited and take this as a great sign that wildlife is now thriving. Number 3. Birth Defects The most tragic thing that happened following the Chernobyl nuclear disaster has been a string of birth defects. The men and women who lost their lives trying to contain the nuclear disaster were very courageous and their loss was also tragic, but since 1986, Physicians in the region have reported a spike in birth defects that is nothing short of heartbreaking. Many children in southern Belarus and northern Ukraine have been suffering congenital birth defects that leave them crippled and mangled for life. A study done by the American Academy of Pediatrics found a direct correlation between dangerous levels of strontium-90 and birth defects. Strontium-90 is of course a radioactive element produced thanks to nuclear fission. It's no surprise that such a volatile element would cause such harm. And while I'm not going to get into the specifics of the birth defects because it really is quite sad, there was another study done by UNICEF that has suggested at least 20% of adolescent children in the country of Belarus have been born with a serious disability because of a birth defect. As you can imagine, having 20% of children disabled because of a birth defect is a shocking number. It should be closer to the 0% mark which really makes you wonder just how far the radiation went and for how much longer we will see its after effects. Number 2. A Horrifying New Species There has been a rumor going around that a disturbing new species of monster has been born from the radiation surrounding Chernobyl. Pictures of the monster have been uploaded online. It has black leathery skin, dark and evil eyes, and a face unlike anything you've ever seen before. It seems to be a very real monster that maybe lost all its hair because of all the dangerous radiation. It's more of an urban legend than an actual real creature. The so-called proof was an image of something else, but people are still afraid there is some sort of scary monster species roaming the forest. Other than some rumors and anecdotal reports of creatures, no mutant werewolves or night monsters have been found in the woods outside Chernobyl. The picture that has been going around describing the creature is actually an Andean bear who goes by the name of Dolores. Dolores and a few other bears came from the Andean mountains of South America after being discovered suffering from some kind of strange hairless disorder. These bears didn't lose their hair because of radiation. It was something altogether different. Number 1. Animals Rule Chernobyl The nuclear reactor at Chernobyl exploded over 30 years ago. Since then, people have not been living in the affected area. And while we know that there have certainly been some very terrifying birth defects in animals and humans, something else has come from all the turmoil. With a huge area around Chernobyl and Pripyat becoming uninhabitable for people, animals have moved in at astoundingly high levels. I've already told you about otters and wolves, but National Geographic says there are many more exotic species living in the area such as brown bear, lynx, beaver, deer, owls, moose, foxes, and plenty of others, making it what scientists are calling a wildlife sanctuary. This is one of the rare times when humans have left some place indefinitely while it was still relatively normal. Sure, there's some radiation, but at the edges of the exclusion zone you would never know. The vegetation looks normal, there are still bugs and critters, and animals are thriving without any human intervention. The exclusion zone straddles the border of Ukraine and Belarus. Studies have shown that large mammals on the Belarusian side of the zone have increased dramatically since the explosion. During a short five-week survey, a team of scientists documented 21 boar, 60 raccoon dogs, 9 badgers, 26 gray wolves, and even a bison. One of the scientists said it was just incredible because you literally can't go anywhere without bumping into a wolf. Unfortunately, there aren't really any other places like the exclusion zone where animals can really be free from human interaction. 
nature has risen from the ashes. Thanks for watching. Would you dare visit Chernobyl? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you next time!